Hello, dear students. This is Dr. Samir again. Uh, I welcome you for the today's session. This is the last topic related to the unit four. We will be talk talking about the rapid prototyping applications in aerospace industry. Aerospace industry with the various advantages that RP technologies promise, it is only natural that high value added industries like the aerospace industry have taken special interest in it even though initial investment cost may be high. There are abundant examples of the use of RP technology in the aerospace industry. The following are few examples. The first example, we will talk about the, the design verification of an airline electrical generator. The Sunstrand Aerospace, which manufactures inline electrical generators for military and commercial aircraft needed to verify its design of an integrated drive generator for a mill for a large jet liner so it decided to use helices long to create the design verification model the generator is made up of an external housing and about 1200 internal parts each half of the housing measures about 610 mm in diameter, 300 mm tall, and has many intricate internal cavities into which subassemblies must be. So in this particular example, where we talk about the design verification of an airline electrical generator, a company called Sunstrand Aerospace, which manufactures the electrical generators for military and commercial aircraft, they needed to verify their integrated dive, drive generator for a large jet liner. So they have used the helices LOM. LOM stands for Lomin Laminated Object Modeling to create the design verification. So this, this design had an external housing of about 1200 internal part, parts. And each half of the housing measures about 610 mm in diameter, 300 mm tall and as many intricate shapes and internal cavities where it must assemble and they must be in, in correct proportions to fit to, the fit to the design. Such complex designs are difficult to visualize from two dimensional drawings. Physical model of the generator housing and many of its internal compounds is a good way to identify design problems before the expensive tooling process. But at the same time, expense needed to construct the models by traditional means are prohibitive. Thus, Sunstrand decided to turn to RP technologies. So we have seen that the Sunstrand company, which want to manufacture the generator for the large jet liner to understand the internal details. One way to analyze the design was to produce the physical object. Producing the physical object using the conventional method, it is a prohibitive because you cannot manufacture a part without going into deep into the details, without knowing how exactly it's going to fit into the assembly. So one way to do, one way to get a, a physical product is to turn towards RP technology. RP technology, you can create a prototype with exact intricate shapes, details, and exact replica of the part that we have to manufacture. Sunstein assembled the various parts and examined them for form, fit, and limit function. These were corrected, incorporated into the CAD design, and in some cases, new RP models were made. Apart from design verification, Sunstrand was able to use the physical models to help tool makers plan, design casting patterns, design casting patterns. 
The models were also used for manufacturing process, design, tool checking, assembly sequence. Though the approximate cost of the RP model was 16,500 US dollars, the savings re realized from removing the engineering and design changes were immeasurable. And the time saved estimated to be about eight to 10 weeks was significant. So at some strand, they could able to create a prototype, not only for the design verification, but also to help the tool makers to plan and design casting patterns. How exactly the patterns have to be designed to get this particular design was also analyzed using this rapid prototyping models in the Sunstrand industry. So the approximate cost of the rapid prototype design or the model was 16,500 US dollars. Apart from that, the design changes and the engineering changes was immeasurable. And the time saved was at least eight to 10 weeks was reduced. This is a, an impact of RP technology. Another example of additive manufacturing in the application of aerospace industries to engine components for fan jet engine. In an effort to reduce the developmental time of a new engine, Allied Signal Aerospace used 3D systems quick cast to produce a turbofan jet engine for a business aviation jet. So another company called Allied Signal Aerospace, they have used 3D systems quick cast to produce a turbofan jet engine for a business aviation jet. Basically, RP is used for generation of the casting pattern of an impeller compressor shroud engine component. This impeller compressor was generated using an RP. RP has created this casting pattern for the impeller. This part is a static component that provides the seal for the high pressure compressor in the engine. Using the quick cast, 3D technology center was able to directly produce patterns for investment castings using the stereolithography technology. The patterns produced were durable and improved accuracy, good surface finish, and were single large piece patterns. With the use of these RP techniques, production time was slashed to eight to 10 weeks and the savings of $50,000 for tooling in three design iterations was realized. We can see how the RP technology has been significantly applied in making a particular product here in the quick cast. They could produce the patterns for the investment, cattle, investment castings and they could produce, uh, they could use stereolithography technology. These patterns were durable they were having improved accuracy, they were having good surface finish and were single large piece pattern. You cannot have multiple pieces of the patterns, they could able to manufacture a single large piece patterns. So which obviously at same time and cost and also three design iterations were performed using the rapid prototyping technology. Another example of using RP in aerospace industry is that the rapid prototyping air inlet housing for gas turbine engine. Again, with the same company that we have seen in the earlier, in the manufacturing of uh, an engine generator, electrical generator from the Sunstrand power systems, which is a manufacturer of auxiliary engines for military and commercial aircraft, they needed prototypes of an inlet air housing for new gas turbine engine. But the gas turbine engine are very oftenly or commonly used in the aerospace industry. So it needed a mock-ups for their complex design. Mock-ups are the pre-planned or pre-products that we are going to view as a prototype before releasing it into the market. 
So these are called as mockups. These are related to the mockups. How exactly mockups are used? We have seen in the previous classes. So it first needed mockups of the complex design and also several fully functional prototypes to test other development engines. The part which measures about 250 mm in height, 300 mm in diameter, and has a thickness, as thickness, the wall thickness is as thin as 1.5 mm. It would have been difficult and costly to build using the traditional methods. So if you look at this slide, the figure here, this is the air inlet housing for gas turbine engine. The polycarbonate investment casting pattern, right? So this is the material polycarbonate investment casting, casting pattern. And this is the steel air inlet for house for a jet turbine engine, housing for a jet turbine engine. Then in another application, fabrication of flight certified production castings. Bell Helicopters has successfully used steel lithography first to verify parts design, then to aid with fit functional testing and finally to improve investment casting patterns for manufacture of Federal Aviation Authority certifiable production parts. So at Bell Helicopters, stereolithography was successfully used for the design and verification of the parts and also for the fit and functioning of the test, functional testing. They could be able to produce the investment casting patterns which could be certified products for, from the Federal Aviation Authority. About 50 of the parts that made up the new helicopter's flight control system were developed with stereolithography. The largest support structure for the hydraulic system measured approximately 500 mm into 500 mm into 200 mm, and the smallest was 15, 25 mm into 25 mm into 1.1 mm. So this large support structures are the small support structure comprising of 50 parts altogether with a new helicopter flight control system with the help of stereolithography, they have fabricated these parts. In production, all parts will be invest, all parts will be investment cast and most in aluminum while other will be in steel alloys. So dear students, this was about the RP applications in aerospace industry. So we have seen how a company has used RP technology in, in airline electrical generator. And we have seen how a company, the RP has utilized in making the engine components. Then we have seen how the gas turbine engine housing was made. Then finally we have seen the fabrication of the flight certified production certificates from the Bell helicopters. So these are all the applications, uh, examples of the additive manufacturing in aerospace industries. And with this, I'll conclude the topic of RP applications in aerospace industry. Thank you very much.